this flirt take take us through the flirt mm. steps yeah, yeah. Spell it okay, out. So the, all the, letters. The, <laughs> the, the flirt flame art which i totally made up because i was like how can i really break down flirting in a way and just convey all the different aspects of the flirt so the f stands for framing the conversation and that is all about flirting in the present moment so what we talked about a little bit earlier about not thinking away the through the flirt and feeling your way through the flirt. I like to say, get out of your head and into your heart. Stop, you know, do your best Mm. to not think your way through it and just feel your way through it. And when you're in the present moment with it, you're not going to be jumping into the future trying to think about, okay, what am I going to say next? Or what are they going to say next? Or you're already sort of jumping ahead, like say you're trying to get someone's number or something or work towards a first date. You're already like, oh, they're going to say no. They're going to reject me, right? It's not going to work out. You've totally played through the whole situation and essentially talked yourself out of it or already determined how the flirt is going to go. So let's like bring it back, just feel your way through it and be here in the moment and look to make that connection. The L, um, and this is a (laughs) a really difficult one, is lack of expectations. Um, Mm -hmm. When you go into a flirt, especially if it's in a dating scenario, right? Like you want to get the number. You want to make the best first impression. You like want to get, maybe it's a first date and you want like that first kiss or something, right? Whatever your expectation is, if you have yourself focused on a result or an outcome, well, now automatically you're out of the present moment because you're flirting to engineer a specific result. You're expecting this thing to happen. And if that doesn't happen, then you stand to be let down. You stand to be disappointed, perhaps even feeling rejected in the moment or perhaps rejecting yourself in a way. So this one is so challenging to go into the flirt um, with lack of expectations, which is going to allow you to just focus on the connection because the flirt is not about yeah. That's so important, though, because you can feel that energy if someone mm-hmm. has expectations behind the flirt. And yeah. I can tell you from the guy, for like from a girl's perspective, you can tell that guy at the bar who's just maybe trying to get to know you and is being mm-hmm. nice versus the guy that's like, I'm going to fuck you and they're being creepy mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely it's a totally a difference. different energy shift. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, and it's I, I get so excited when I talk about this. I just love <laughs> go on I love, I love this. but that's um yeah and so in like in that example right that would not be a flirt because the guy is only interacting with you with a specific expectation in mind and if that expectation is not met then it's like on to the next kind of thing like he wasn't mm. even looking to make the connection and so that would be mm, not flirting but it kind of yeah. can look like flirting and that's where it gets very kind of confusing <laughs> um and that's but it makes part of my job hard. It's like, well, how do I know if he's flirting, right? How do I know? What are the signs and signals? And it's like, oh, it gets very challenging. <laughs> um, well, I would say that's like, a tough if it, job. I would say if you're on the receiving end, it's flirting if it feels good, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's why I always say kind of, <laughs> Delulu is the Salulu. Just assume it's a flirt. Honestly, who received the flirt <laughs> energy um, because mm. they're flirting because they like something about you. Yeah. Like, yeah. Have it be yeah. about that. I definitely sometimes. don't flirt with people I don't like. Yeah, exactly. Um, mm. uh, the Oh, the eye of the flirt is intention and intuition. Um, and so this, this double part of the flirt framework, I try and empower people the best I can. Um, like one of the biggest questions I get is, well, okay, I'm flirting. What do I talk about? Do I like run out of topics or what questions? Like, do I give compliments? What do I do? And when you start to connect more to your intuition and just more so trust yourself that you're going to be okay and you're not going to make a misstep, you're not going to say something wrong, it's going to be okay. And even embracing the awkwardness of it too. Like that's part of my flirt style for sure is just being silly and goofy. And so if you sort of trip over your words a little bit, it's going to be totally okay. And then keeping yeah. focus too on your in- on your intention um, to just make that connection right it's just so much of the flirt is about an authentic expression of yourself where you're allowing another person just to see you for who you are and that's the same energy you're receiving from the other person when you're flirting it's just all about the connection um which is what the r is all about and that stands for relating and connecting so if you find yourself starting to get in your head again you're overthinking or now maybe you're going back into the past like oh my god i can't believe i just said that or oh i should have said this kind of thing come bring it right back 
you can do it and just focus on making that connection and the tea all about that tension and excitement, which really drives the flirt mm -hmm. forward. The tension, I love that. Mm hmm. Shitting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are what are some I want I want some more what what's your advice on what are some I want let's talk about tension a little more <laughs> like yeah. how, what are what are some of your best tips on creating that tension like what are, what are some tactics that like really work for that with using a lot of your nonverbal flirting skills around body language and eye contact I love 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 also playing with tone of voice where you can sort of mm. speed up the pacing of your delivery pull it back a little bit you can get louder you can get softer right there's all of these things you can work in mm. the flirt and then you couple that with right i call it the flirt double take it's where you're making eye contact you take it away a little bit you bring it right back it creates interest and intrigue you're playing with your body language i love working accessories into the flirt so for me like i'm typically wearing a necklace i might play with that if i have a collar if I have a button up shirt, if you have longer hair or a piece of jewelry. So using um, which using any of your accessories, which can also be mm -hmm. a great way to diffuse nervous energy. If you kind of have something to touch or play with a little bit, that's something I always mm -hmm. love to offer people. Um, and when you start to work all of those things together and you're focused on making the connection, that is going to take people off guard a little bit um, because they start to sort of settle into it and be more comfortable just opening up to you. Um, and so that alone creates excitement. 